In this video, we will show how Salesforce.com enables the unique intersection of e-commerce, configure price quote solutions, and collaboration. For e-commerce, we'll use CloudCraze, available on the App Exchange. CloudCraze is an e-commerce platform uh, written entirely in Salesforce technology and completely integrated with Salesforce's platform. For configure price quote or CPQ, we will be using Big Machines, also tightly integrated with Salesforce. Collaboration will be using Salesforce.com Communities, new, new functionality available from Salesforce. What we're looking at right now is um, a site for Cloudburst, which is a fictitious brand, and they are, they are a provider of business-to-business, um, -business, you know, high-tech equipment such as servers and other, you know, um, computer-related uh, products. And we're looking at their e-com site, which is entirely rendered by CloudCraze. From here, I can log in as Chris Reynolds, a customer of Cloudburst, and begin my shopping experience. Now, as I'm logged in as Chris Reynolds, um, I can not only browse the site, but I can also get to um, what's known as Chatter, which is a private collaboration area between me as a customer of Cloudburst and my account team within Cloudburst. I can browse any number of items, including, for instance, security appliances, and see the products that they're merchandising under that category. And I can see that I'm, I can add these to the cart like I would in any e-commerce experience. But in this scenario, I'm going to also show a product that needs to be configured by the account team and show how that interaction can be driven uh, using the combination of these products as integrated. So I'm going to dr drill in on the Dell R415 1U server. And you can see that I don't have an Add to Cart button. I've got a Request for Quote button. And again, that's because this product requires configuration. So I can say maybe a little bit about how I want to use this product and request the quote. As you can see here, we've now looked up the uh, sales rep for Chris Reynolds. Um, that's Eric East. And we've written into the chatter stream, into the collaboration stream, this specific request. Uh, if we click here, we can see the request as it's written into the collaboration stream. And you can see that Chris Reynolds has uh, indeed made a request and asked that an item be configured as an application server. And this is, again, a private collaboration area between Chris Reynolds, um, the rest of the um, Edge Communications team, you know, as customers, and the account team uh, from Cloudburst. If we flip over and take a look at the um, Cloudburst point of view from Eric East, the rep's point of view, uh, we can see here's Eric. Um, he's got his normal accounts and leads and opportunities, but he's also got his chatter stream. And if we click on that, we can again see this request as it's been written. And not only do we have the request, but we also have an opportunity that's been written for, um, for Eric. And we can drill in on that and begin to work it. So here you can see the opportunity uh, to quote the product that's been requested. Um, and you can see that this, this opportunity is pretty rich in terms of the data. We've got the stage filled out right. We've got the description filled out correctly. We've got an appropriate starting uh, revenue amount. Um, and we've even filled out who the contact roles are we're working with at Edge Communications. Knowing that you know, data cleanliness and data completeness is one of the more difficult things to have happen in a CRM environment, it's great to know that we've got this already filled out and our data quality is so strong. So from here, Eric can um, start a new quote by using Big Machines as a quoting tool. Um, so as he clicks, he'll punch into Big Machines all within the Salesforce context. 
and we can begin to build up our quote for the server. So we can use the standard Big Machines functionality to go into a configuration. We've got the, the Dell PowerEdge here. We can add a redundant power supply if we want. We can change our hard disk to a larger hard disk. And we can see that the price has been updated accordingly. We can add this to the quote. And we can see that all the appropriate line items for a properly configured server have been added. From there, we can actually attach the proposal to the opportunity by clicking here. And we can return back to the opportunity in Salesforce. So now we see the amount has been updated through the standard integration between Big Machines and Salesforce. We can see that the quote has been added in a pending status. We can see that the products required for this server and for this configuration have been added into the opportunity appropriately um, with very little effort on the part of, of Eric East. So now we want to get this quote back to Chris Reynolds uh, so he can evaluate it. And instead of just emailing it, what I want to do here is really post that back to the chatter stream. So not only can Chris get to it, but it's available for collaboration amongst the entire team. So I can post this back and I can say, Chris, is this what you were looking for? So now going back as Chris Reynolds, as he, he will also get an email that will alert him of this, but I can refresh the screen and see this collaboration written back. And we can see Chris with his original request. We can see Eric's response back, including uh, the quote document that has been posted to the chatter stream. Um, Chris can take a look at that and solicit some input from the rest of his team. And he can ask Scott what his comments are and by posting that. If we come in and take a look, again, coming in now as Scott Murphy, and refresh. We can see the original request, we can see the reply, and we can see uh, Chris's question of Scott, what do you think? And Scott can say, this is what we need. Why don't we go with it? So he can post back um, his agreement all again within a private collaboration space. So now we're ready to go. And uh, we can send this document back um, and have it, uh, you know, quote accepted and cope. This concludes our demo and really again highlights the power of Salesforce and the power of bringing commerce together with CPQ, together with collaboration, all in one environment. Thanks for your time.